Fill the conditions detailed in talents menu to unlock permanent bonuses. Hi. Is that Zeus? Throwing a lightning bolt? Whoa. Impressive. Ah. Yeah, son. could be. I was looking for you. Really? What can I you do just for you? spoke to me. Minutes. I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Vice, aren't you? Yes. You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming. Persuade here. him to entrust the letter to anyway, me. I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Conviction. Listen, if it oh, will help, concentration. It Three blunders left. Oh, okay. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Okay. Each confrontation displays an interface showing how much the person you're talking to is convinced. Thank you, my son. I'll bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Step Would one. Do you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Uh, never mind. Give me your letter. Or, yes, she's been here. I feel like tact is the way to go with this man. Uh, ordering him to do something, probably not the best. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. Well... By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew, my son, I hold your mother in the highest of God. Yeah. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. <sighs> only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is commendable. But as we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certainly. Step you say two. you work together. What do you do exactly? Art collector. Difficulty to... Oh, okay, the difficulty is the amount of effort points it takes. And that takes etiquette. We are members of the Golden Order. Professional secret. Hmm. Probably shouldn't out that, although maybe he is too. That's not going to do anything to help. So, art collector it is. Mother passed her passion for art to me. Ancient art. Very ancient. Ah, I didn't know your mother was an art lover. Mainly pre-Christian objects, which are believed to have unique properties. Well, how interesting. Now that you mention it, I can indeed imagine Sarah getting interested in that. Nice. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Ah, uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? I sure do, bud. Depends what it contains. Pretend I don't want it. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Which one? I'll give it to her if I find her. He doesn't know she's missing, does she? Does he? You can count on me? Oh, please work. Don't worry, your eminence. Your secret is safe with me. You know my mother's reputation. As her son, I will defend the Dorishe's word with the same fervor. Ah, I would expect I think that's worked. Less. We Gucci. Me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother would read it? Confrontation last step. For the last step of confrontation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you give a right one or you have no blunders left. The last step of a confrontation will repeat itself if you fail. Okay, so it gets easy at the end, I guess is what that's saying. Uh, diversion level one. 
I don't believe in his god. No thank you, no. Okay, no worries. I mean, let's try this. Your eminence, if there is one thing you can count on, it is the value of a promise made by a Dorishi. Respecting our commitments has always been the pillar of our family, and nothing nor nobody will prevent that from happening. Since you know my mother, you should know that a Dorishi always keeps their word. And it's a diversion because you can be sure although he's been saying how much Thank he you, always son. keeps his word, he's never sure. actually promised what You're he welcome. said he would. Especially as I promised you nothing. Yeah, before. there we go. <laughs> Listen, let's stop that. Trait unlocked reliable. To tell you a secret, oh yeah? Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the cursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Huh. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Sounds like it. Be it only for her sake. Although we do see her murder someone in that flash forward, so... <laughs> Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when <laughs> Open you it in front of him. <laughs> time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Yeah. Oh, it had a seal, didn't it? Fuck. Okay. So maybe not. Yeah. Oh, that will be a tough one. Hidden elements. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure, so do not hesitate to look for them. I guess that's hidden with a white diamond over them. <laughs> Okay, got the letter, uh, sealed, yep, okay. Okay, that's how we got the thing in diversion, I guess, then. Uh, right, was there something else? I feel like there was something else I was going to look at. Oh, that's good to know, okay. Didn't earn any XP? How do we get XP, then? Hmm. Oh, and this is what I was going to... Uh, a skill point in manipulation. Okay. Which is this one. Nice. I'm almost there, and I haven't even done anything. Good to know. Go back to the group near the chimney. Right. So, over there. Let me just have a quick whiz around. Was there anything on that table? Nope. See if I can find anything to... Hello? What does that mean? It means I can't do anything with it. Okay. I've just arrived. It might be bad manners to go upstairs without being invited. You might be right. Anything over here? I mean, it's just told me to look for secrets. Maybe like, literally... Introduce myself to literally guests, just but... then. So, oh, hello. Oh, it's just a coin that I don't... Oh, never mind. There's something here. Devil's Thorn. Devil's Thorn grants you the exalted state. You temporarily see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice in a conversation you carry cannot carry more than five. That's right on the D-pad. Okay. Anything else? Doesn't... S oh, I heard the ching. Where was it? I definitely just heard the the noise. Oh, there. Blind Oedipus. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. Feels bad. Can't go back out there. Okay, and that's the whole place. Good. Oh, and... Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men flip through it, but that requires erudition. Take the book. Parallel Lives. Oh, conviction. A series of biographies of illust illustrious men providing much information on their lives and the origin of their greatness. Okay. 
Oh, oh damn it. I was trying to... Was there were two things to put there. Beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. I mean, you could have worn something that isn't that. Then you wouldn't have needed a fire. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. Can I call you George friend? Washington, mate. President oh, of sorry. United Did I miss that? Of America. Delighted at last to make Hi, your acquaintance, George. Mr. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's I mean, the first time that I have ever met so many of that, right? personalities. I went the political route. You haven't seen anything yet. So... Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Uh, etiquette or nah let's go etiquette etiquette's the way believe me she's not that special his eminence was asking me for my opinion about the style of the main door I have to admit this place certainly doesn't lack panache it's simply stupefying oh pity no scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming <laughs> left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, ha, my friends, ha, ha, ha. do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Holm, a close friend of Lord Mortimer. But uh, I do not know the reason why. Seems Lucy like Louis, bloody everyone's been invited Lord by Sir organizes a reception, He always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing. <laughs> I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Uh... Surely everyone knows she's gone missing? Or, well, no. Thingy, my Bobby didn't, the Cardinal. I mean, let's just come out with it. Lord Mortimer asked me to come as quickly as possible to find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Oh. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. Unless it is. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards. And we'll take a moment to speak about her. Okay. Uh. Wait, did I not get it in time? I clicked the first one and nothing happened, so I clicked the second one and also nothing happened. What? Good Was evening, there my a friend. third one that I didn't see? Shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be hmm. present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat. Ah. Very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So, don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? 
If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Um, hmm. Don't know. Let's stay and listen. Let's see what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. <laughs> Poor Cardinal yeah, on his own. Thank you for staying. Just like you, you know. Oh, let's have a look at George Washington. No information on his strengths and weaknesses yet. Uh, founding father and first president of the United States, Washington shared his life between military and political success. Early on, he was introduced by Sarah de Richet into the upper circles of an influential secret society from France, the Golden Order. Oh, okay, he's part of it. He later took the helm of the American branch. Tired of politics, he wanted to retire to his property in Virginia, but that was without taking into account Lord Mortimer, who encouraged him to come out of retirement. On the advice of his friend, he ran for a second term and was successful. Not gonna lie, I don't know pretty much jack shit about American politics outside of what's going on like right now. I don't know the history of American politics, so no idea if this is like alternate history. I've God knows if he ran a second time or not. I honestly don't know, but uh we'll go with we'll go with whatever this game says for now. Invited to the island, Washington likes to attend such social social gatherings incognito. Well Well I guess back then I guess there wasn't uh I mean surely everyone knows what he looks like back then if he's the president then surely i don't know this morning i found out that sarah had gone missing ah hang on <laughs> forgot about home as well uh baron of nottingham all right got some mates in nottingham is a very influential british aristocrat confirmed royalist sir gregory home has spent his career extending the influence of the united kingdom throughout the world from the flourishing East India Company to the Spanish trading posts in America, he stamped his hallmark on key decisions made by the world's preeminent economic power. In England, he contributed to the reduction of the national debt, and being very attached to family values, he invested time in the working class, creating charity schools in order to offer a decent education to the future links in the next industrial revolution. A network builder, Home always finds pleasure in attending the social gatherings of his old friend, Lord Mortimer. Okay. He doesn't look like a particularly nice guy, but he sounds like a kind of nice guy, but we shall see. Well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Oh boy. Tell me more about this Mortimer. Where does Emily know my mother from? Hmm. And you, Emily. What do you think of my mother? I only know her through the Order. The one time we met, we only exchanged a few words in a corridor of Parliament. Well, and was the exchange she's going to exchange bullets with you later. Impassioned. I'm not sure if I understand. Was there any reason for her to be angry with you? Under other circumstances, I would slap your face for even asking. But I'll put your lack of tact down to her disappearance. What? Know that your mother is a woman I would love to work with. How was that lack of her tact? Her reputation is I asked if she was deserved. nice or Mr. nasty Washington to you. Will be able what? To tell you more. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Uh, that is interesting, but that's probably more important. When did you last speak to her? Philadelphia. Oh, 15 years right. Ago. He hasn't seen Sarah her here. Sarah okay. went back and forth between France and the United States. Yes, I remember those days. I didn't see her too often. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? Politics, golden order, mysteries surround us. Well, I think it's 
I mean, it costs those effort points, though. That's the question. Can I press down now to restore some? Okay, I super can. Good. I mean, these are always the way to go. Oh, well. They're the way to go in the confrontations. Hmm. This is going to be tricky. There's going to be times where I just don't have any points to use. But for the moment, I'm going to go for it. So... My mother was with you. Huh. What? He's immune to politics. He's George fucking Washington. Ex what? <laughs> okay. He's immune to politics. Great. Use a golden elixir to cure yourself. One effort point is locked. Wow. During the American Revolution... Did you talk about politics? Yes. In spite of her young age, she defended our cause with enthusiasm. Did Times she one the in the top left, like so can I have gunner, multiple Molly exhaustions? Pitcher? Yes, in a way. The role given to women in your war was a great step forward. Lee, I am impressed. Few people know about the legend. He doesn't of seem Molly. to be immune to this. So He's you interested. Don't know the true story. Molly Pitcher is a character invented by Sarah. She persuaded me to use a heroic female figure, an American Joan of Arc, if you will. It enabled us to gain a few thousand extra fighters, and it was all thanks to your mother. I... I... I, I didn't know that. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. Okay, and well, let's I am hope not. persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve. Oh yeah. And to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose. You to want us. to expand As upon for that? Me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Uh, oh, don't speak about the book. Or speak about the book. Inquisitive. I did. Which is point in occultism. Asked Washington about the book on the wall. The book that belongs to my mother. Where did you find it? That's what worries me. I found it hidden on the wharf. Do you think she was preparing to discreetly leave? I don't know. An extremely likely proposition. You reckon? I'll believe it when I see it. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened <laughs> to her. Well... Yes, I, I hope not. She might have lost her hand. That would be fairly bad. Careful, they're coming back. Oh, hello. You seem well, fun. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> 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 you seem to be intrigued <laughs> by that <laughs> statue. Huh. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. Hey, Mortimer likes but art. I must Keep say, that in he mind. He does have some outstanding pieces. So, oh, who was that young lady? Opportunity you? missed. Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. You Jesus, I'm just missing fucking everything, will apparently. Accompany you to your rooms. Not that I have a choice in... It, it just, uh, I guess the opportunity just doesn't present itself if I don't have the right thing, I suppose. 